Mike Paris Hutman shouldn't be dead and her family shouldn't have had to clean out her dorm at Wright State University. But somebody killed her and tonight her family wants that killer off these streets. She is as beautiful as she is brilliant. Paris Lachey Hummins had a big smile, big plans, and big dreams. She was nice, she was outgoing, she was friendly, she never hurt a soul. A Wright State University pre-med student whose life was cut short in a barrage of bullets. I mean, it, it, it felt like the world just, just dropped on me. You know, it was uh, it's very hard. Uh, just ripped my whole family up. Her family last saw her alive Friday. Saturday night, the 19-year-old was dead. It's just rough. I mean, I'm, I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. She was visiting her friend in Cincinnati. As they rode in a car to go out, bullets flew in Bond Hill. It wasn't meant for her. What hurts me the most is the taking of innocent lives. And that's her mom, that's Paris' mom right there. A family now hit with tragedy again. They came together to raise Paris after her mom died of cancer when she was just three years old. Yeah, that was my baby. I just hope they realize that they, they didn't only destroy her life, they destroyed theirs and they destroyed their family's life as well. Now, all they have left are memories of Paris. They will never get her back, but they believe justice will make it right. The, the detectives that are on the case, I met with them. I know they're busting their backsides to find these people. And um, I, have, I have faith and confidence that the creator will show them the way. Now, the family will bury Paris on Friday, and there's also a vigil and a balloon release at Northwest Rec Center in Dayton. Reporting live, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5. Tammy.